you, you ever watch uh, Lee Corso on uh, game day? Do you ever see the, the headgear picks? Oh uh, yeah, I, um, this is actually a game day tradition for me to watch ESPN on like every Saturday. I try to make sure that I watch the little college game day thing. It's it's always funny to watch. You, you, you like it when he picks Alabama, or is it a good thing, bad thing? I mean, I, I really don't get caught up into all that because I mean they really don't know anything, but. I mean, it's just always fun. I mean, it's just something that I've been doing since I was like middle school. So you still do it? I mean, even on game days where you're gonna be playing in the yeah, 30 I mean, minutes. Yeah, I, I still watch it every every Saturday. I mean, I'm a guy I, I, I love watching college football. So I mean, it's pretty fun to you know see them talk about other teams and things like that. Do you ever get upset if they don't pick Alabama and you're playing the game? I mean, nah, I mean, I, I really don't care about that stuff because, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to play the game, so it's not nothing to get all big and happy about. You say uh, Texas A&M has always had a good passing game, but this year they got the, the running back of Trayvon Williams. Whether it be film or watch him on TV, what, what do you see from him? Uh, well, I heard he's pretty good. I, I know he's, like, one of the top rushers in the ACC. So, I mean, we're going to have to come out, you know, everybody's going to have to fly around, and, you know, all 11 guys are going to have to get to the ball so we can tackle them. You see them, like they run up jets, they have a jet guy, and then a read option at the same time. What, what, what are you looking at? What's your key? Well, I mean, it's just, it's going to take all 11 guys doing their job. Because, I mean, if one guy doesn't do his job, you know, a big play can happen. So, I mean, we we'll have to come out as a defense, and all 11 will have to be on the same page. Do you feel like facing Dobbs has helped you maybe uh, get ready to face someone like Knight, who's you know, fast on their feet? Well, I mean, anytime you, you know, you play against a dual threat quarterback, you know, we got dual threat quarterbacks on our team. So, I mean, at practice, they definitely help us out. So, I mean, we've got, a, got another big test there to, you know, face some dual threat quarterback. Sean, what do you think about the power that Tim Williams has played these last few games? And does it seem like he's been pretty much in the backfield every single play? Yeah, I mean, Tim, Tim's been playing really good. I mean, you know, that's what we expect of him. You know, he, he's, he's great at rushing the pass. So, I mean, so hopefully he can just keep on building that momentum that he has going for him now. Is there any advantage? Is there any advantage to a team that's so used to playing this games like this to get so much attention and hype and everything? Well, I mean, it definitely helps, you know, when you've played in these games like this before. But, I mean, you know, when you play in the SEC, I mean, every game's like that for real. So, I mean, we just have to keep our poise, you know, not, not let the stage get too big for us. Hey, Sean, how, how hard is it to bring down the running back to practice? <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> You know, it definitely helps, you know, when you play against all, practice against all these great running backs, you know, Saturday, you play another opponent. I mean, it's a lot, a lot easier because, you know, you know who got the best backs in the, in the country. You better than A&M, they got pretty good backs. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to comment on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see out of Ronnie Harrison day to day? Uh, well, I mean, Ronnie, he's a guy, you know, he comes out ready to work every day at practice, so. I mean, just, you know, seeing him make plays out there, it's, it's always good to watch him, you know, grow up. He's had two touchdowns. Is he one of the ones that brags about it, or? I mean, Ronnie's really not the, the bragging type of guy. He's a laid back kind of guy. He's not your Duran Payne type of guy. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's great for us to get seven points in the end zone, though. Is Ron still talking to you about that? Nah, he's, he's kind of slowed down about it now, you know, but, you know, he still tells me, you know, you don't have a touchdown yet. So. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> What's it mean to be? I mean, seven uh, seven of the eleven starters have scored. Does that stat kind of stick out in the back of your head at all sometimes? Or? Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. that's that's pretty cool. I mean, it shows that I mean, you know, getting the ball, you know, forcing turnovers, you know, things like that really help. It takes a lot of a lot of um, stress off the offense. You know, when the defense can put seven points on the board. How much how much more comfortable are you getting? I mean, it seems like every you know these last I guess three games you've seemed to raised your game a little bit is is that just because you've been on the field more and more this year or you know are, are you just more comfortable well I mean coach Brewer does a good job you know putting us in position to make plays and things like that I mean you know we can't week out you know I'm just just building my confidence up so I mean I owe it to my teammates so Sean how much do you feel like you learned from Reggie how much do you feel like you grew just from being around somebody like that well I mean I feel like I learned a lot you know he was like a like a big brother to me so you know you watching 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 film from him my freshman year to now, I mean, it's really, really helped help my game. Delvin said you compare a lot to Ruben off the field. Uh, is that a fair statement? Or? I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of kind of the same, same, you know, we enjoy hanging out and things like that. So, I mean, it's a big brother to me. How about on the field? How do your games stack up? Um, well, I mean, both of us, you know, are have our 
good things and bad things we do, but I mean, I think we do a good job. You see somebody you learn off of, uh, even, even as a teammate then? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I learn a lot from, you know, I watch a lot of film and, you know, just, just seeing like, you know, like see him make a good play or seeing him make a mistake, I mean, I only learn from it. When you signed, Saban has said that Ruben was taking credit for you coming here. How, how much of a factor was he for you to be here? Uh, I mean, I, he gets a lot of credit. I mean, he was my host on my official visit. So, I mean, you know, he was telling me, you know, that we, we need you here and, you know, one day it's going to be us. I mean, like me and him in the middle and, you know, now we're playing in the middle together. How much does that Go impact forward. when you have a, a, a team, potential teammate, you know, selling you on the program that you know, you know, I'll be with them for a long time? Oh, well, I mean, that's it's very beneficial because, I mean, you know, you have a guy who's in the program, and, you know, who's telling you this and, I mean, he's not going to tell you anything wrong, so, I mean, it's very beneficial. Were you the same way with Mac Wilson? Yes, sir. I was a key, key recruiter and, you know, up here. What's, what's your relationship like with him? Oh, uh, well, I mean, he's like a little brother to me. I mean, we text every day. I mean, we're together every day. We're in the same meeting room, so we've got a great relationship. How about your third down defense? How much better is it this year, do you think, maybe as opposed to last year? Well, I mean, you know, when well, if we can get everybody to execute, like Coach Saban always says, I mean, we can stop a lot of people, but I mean, it's important that all 11 guys do their job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.